In this video, we're going to cover how to do more different types of detailed questions in Qualtrics. So go ahead and open your survey. And the first type of question that we're going to look at is called a matrix table. Matrix tables are used when you want to compare different characteristics and features of a product to each other. So in this case, we're going to look at different qualities of a restaurant and how important they are to people. So to create a matrix table, we're going to go to create a new question and select matrix table. So the scale point is going to be the type of scale that you're looking at. So in the question that we're going to look at, our scale is going to be of importance. So the important scale is going to be right up here. And then the statements are going to be the statements that we want to look at are going to be the characteristics and the features of whatever you want to compare, the characteristics that you want to compare. So we're going to look at quality of food, price of food, atmosphere of restaurant, and things like that. And those are going to be your statements. So we're going to go ahead and write the question. And our question is going to be how important are the following characteristics, features of a restaurant to you. So how important are the following characteristics and features of a restaurant to you? So we'll see just as before, as we did with the previous question, that it's going to generate our scale automatically. And if you ever don't like the way that a scale is ordered, for example, if you want extremely important to be on the other side of your scale, so like right here, if you basically want these two to be switched, what you can do is go to where it says scale points, click to get the same drop down menu, and just check reverse order. It'll flip the order of the scale. We're going to keep the scale as is since we do want to look at importance and go ahead and add our statements. We're going to put four statements in so we see that we need to go up and add one more statement. And our four statements are going to be price of food, quality of food, atmosphere of restaurant and quality of service. So in the survey, respondents would indicate how important price of food is to them, quality of service, and would do the same for the other two characteristics. Similar how we did for multiple choice, you can have a matrix table that is set up to be like a multiple answer matrix table. To do that, you're going to go to where it says answers and select multiple answer. This is all going to depend on what type of question that you're asking in your survey, whether or not you want it to be a single answer or a multiple answer matrix table. So the next type of question that we're going to look at is a rank order. So to do a rank order question, we're going to go to create a new question and look at rank order. Rank orders, you're basically asking respondents to rate their preferences on certain topics. So in this question, we're going to ask respondents to rank their favorite fast food restaurants. So we're going to ask, please rank the following fast food restaurants. So it's important in a rank order question to indicate how you want respondents to rank the items. If you leave it up to respondents to rank the items however you want, it could skew your data and it won't be consistent. So make sure you indicate so this we want one to be their favorite fast food restaurant and three to be their least favorite restaurant. And you would adjust this based on how many items you're asking people to rank. So we're just going to put three fast food restaurants in. We're going to do McDonald's, Burger King and Wendy's. So there's a couple of different ways that you can ask respondents to rank their preferences. And in this situation, re respondents are just going to drag and drop until it's in the order that they want. So let's say if Wendy's was actually a favorite, they would just drag Wendy's up into the top column. You can also do these buttons where let's say if McDonald's was their third favorite, they would click three, Burger King for one, and Wendy's for two. Or you can use a text box and just have respondents type in the text box one, two, and three, depending on the order of their favorite fast food restaurants. That's all we're going to cover in this video. And the next video is going to go over how to do a couple more different types of detailed questions.